Hey, thanks for clicking Weather on Demand. I'm meteorologist uh, Sean Householder for UpperMichiganSource.com. So here's your almanac from yesterday. This is the shot from uh, Lake Independence. I was out there over the weekend. Managed to make every second of that weekend count, and it's a beautiful place. So we look at the almanac, and well, we're a couple of ticks above what we would expect for this time of year on yesterday's date and uh, for the high end. And then the low was a degree below, so on average, we're about a degree above what we would expect for yesterday's date. And uh, also, we said goodbye to August. And uh, we broke all those streaks. We were uh, running with uh, above average precipitation. We fell short there, almost a quarter of an inch. And uh, we've been running on the cool side of temperatures. Finally, a month where we're above average. Although uh, on the month, the average temperature was uh, only six tenths of a degree above what we would expect. So technically that is above average, pretty close to our target though. So here's our headlines. Well, it's breezy on the back end of that low pressure system. We keep clouds and drizzle. We'll clear out in the afternoon. There was a look at the national map and here. You can see that low pressure still churning and uh, still maintaining that classic comma shape that you see with the mature uh, traveling cyclone. As you can see, it's continuing to drift eastward across the uh, eastern Great Lakes. We start to see high pressure building in and that means mainly sunny skies, but but we're on the back end of this system and winds are out of the north, so it's picking up on uh, some cool air coming off the lake. So we do keep low clouds and some drizzle, although it's not showing up on the radar through much of the day. We'll start to dry out in the afternoon. Take a look at these gusty winds. There was a 37 mile an hour gust reported this morning at Copper Harbor, and so that's a breezy day. Folks lining up for the uh, 56th annual bridge walk across Mackinac Bridge. And uh, well, they're definitely going to be bundled up. It's breezy 54 there the last time I checked with a 25 mile an hour gust. So we keep these gusty winds on the backside of that system. Temperatures kept in check today by those winds coming off the lake. It's 48 in Marquette, 50 in Newberry. Iron River checking in at 50, 56 in uh, Newberry, or I should say at the Sioux. Well, check that. It's 53 in the Sioux. It's 70 in Detroit, though, still. Uh, with all that mild air, 64 in Milwaukee. Now, dew points, always a good measure of how much moisture is in the atmosphere. And if you recall, last week we were reading into the mid and upper 60s and low 70s, but we've lost all that humidity. It's 47 for a dew point this morning in Marquette. So that feels nice. It's, it's, it's like fall weather. It's like hoodie weather. So here's this low pressure system. Now continue pushing eastward. It's windy today. High pressure building in. We eventually see a few peaks of sunshine this afternoon, but it takes nearly all day. Persistent cloud cover, some uh, sprinkles continue through most of the day. And then by Tuesday, high pressure builds in. That means mainly sunny skies and temperatures rebound too. Here's the look at uh, what we want to do for uh, temperatures. Well, our in-house forecast model keeping us cool only managing uh, low 60s for highs today. And then we look at Tuesday, we start to warm up and that's raw model data. So uh, that hasn't uh, been uh, analyzed. Here's what we'll say. Temperatures coolest along the southern shore of Superior to around 60. Meanwhile, we look further south. We'll see mid 60s. There is a bit of a swim risk. There is a beach hazard warning statement out for Marquette and Alger counties. And I tell you, my hat's off to you if you plan on swimming on the beach today. Gusty winds, 25 miles an hour or more. And uh, so that does create a beach hazard. And like we said, we'll see a few peaks of sunshine, especially towards the second half of the day. It's clear overnight. Some of the cooler spots across the western interior could touch into the low 30s. Again, that, that's very isolated. I think we'll be mostly into the low and mid 40s. And some spots in the east won't get below 50. Here's a look at your Tuesday. Plenty of sunshine as temperatures rebound into the low 70s by the shore and mid 70s inland. So it looks like a nice day. We've got tranquil weather on tap on the TV six day forecast. A weak disturbance works in with limited moisture on Wednesday. So we'll just see a few clouds out of that, maybe a cool down and then temperatures rebound once again by Friday, upper 70s to around 80. And there is a chance of a few pop up thunderstorms in the afternoon for your Friday. Right now, the weekend looks mainly dry. Temperature seasonal into the mid 70s. Have a great day and thanks for watching.